Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. This problem took the internet by storm in 2016 and still makes the rounds nearly every year. Problem number eight, reasonableness. Marty ate four sixths of his pizza and Louis ate five sixths of his pizza. Marty ate more pizza than Louis. How is that possible? The student who answered this question gave the response that Marty's pizza is bigger than Lois's pizza. So there should be no controversy. This is definitely a reasonable answer. But the controversy started because the teacher marked this reply as wrong. The teacher even then wrote, that is not possible because five over six is greater than four over six. So Lois ate more. I thank Rhiannon for the suggestion. Now let's just try to reason what the teacher might have been thinking. If the pizzas were the same size, we could compare Marty's pizza to Lois's pizza. Let's divide both pizzas into six slices. Now four six of the pizza will be four of the slices, and then five six of Lois's pizza will be five of these slices. So clearly, there's no way that Marty could have eaten more than Lois if the pizzas were the same size. But there's nothing in the question saying the pizzas have to be the same size. Certainly, we can imagine increasing the size of Marty's pizza and eventually at some point, four slices of a very large pizza will be more than five slices of a smaller pizza. So it is completely reasonable that Marty's pizza is bigger than Lois's pizza, and therefore Marty ate more pizza than Lois. The student's reply was completely correct, and unfortunately, the teacher marked it wrong. The question sparked a lot of outrage online, and not just from educators and mathematicians, but also from food blogs and even the larger media. The question sparked its fair share of memes where people were showing how Marty's pizza could be gigantically sized compared to Lois's pizza. In any case, returning to the problem at hand, we have a mathematical question. How much bigger does Marty's pizza need to be so that 4 6 of Marty's pizza is at least as large as 5 6 of Lois's pizza? So many times pizza sizes are given by the diameter of the pizza. But we need to know the area of the pizza, and this formula is in terms of the radius. So let's let the radius be equal to half the diameter. Let's do these variables for both of the pizzas. So the larger pizza will have an area of pi times r squared. The radius will be equal to half the diameter. And then when we square the numerator and denominator and multiply by pi, this works out to be pi d squared divided by 4. The same formula will be true for the smaller circle. We just use the corresponding variable for the smaller circle. So we go ahead and apply this formula and we end up with a very similar formula. So now let's compare how much Marty ate to how much Lois ate. So Marty ate four six of his pizza and Lois ate five six of his pizza. We need Marty to eat at least as much as Lois. So we have a greater than or equal to here. Now, let's simplify this inequality. The pi terms will cancel out because pi is baked into both formulas. <laughs> we can now cancel out the denominators of 4 and the denominators of 6. This simplifies to be 4 multiplied by large d squared is greater than or equal to 5 multiplied by little d squared. We can divide both sides by little d squared and by 4 to get the following inequality. And then we just need to take the square root of both sides. Since all variables we're dealing with are non-negative, we can safely take the square root of both sides. So we have the ratio of diameters must be greater than or equal to square root of 5 divided by 2. So what does that mean in practical terms? Square root of 5 divided by 2 is approximately equal to 1.118. That means Marty's pizza must be larger by about 11.8%. So let's put that in practical terms. If Lois orders a small 10-inch pizza, 
Marty's pizza has to be at least 11.18 inches. If Los's pizza is a medium 12 inch pizza, Marty's pizza must be at least 13.42 inches. If Lois orders a large 14 inch pizza, then Marty's pizza must be at least 15.65. And if Lois orders an 18 inch extra large pizza, then Marty's pizza needs to be about 20.12 inches. So we can see that if essentially Marty is ordering the next size up, his four six share will be larger than Lois's five six share. It's not that hard for Marty to order a larger pizza and eat more pizza than Lois. Now, while we're on the topic of pizza, I want to share another interesting little tidbit. You can compare pizza sizes just by comparing the ratio of their diameter squared. This is convenient because pizzas are often quoted in terms of their diameter size. So let's see why this is true. So let's compare Marty's pizza's area versus Lois's pizza area. So we have pi multiplied by big R squared divided by pi multiplied by little r squared. The pi terms will cancel out, so we just have the squared ratio of the radii. Each radius is equal to its diameter divided by 2. So when we square this out, we end up with d squared divided by 4 divided by little d squared divided by 4. The 4s will cancel out, so we just end up with the ratio of the diameter squared. So it's a very convenient way that we can compare pizza sizes. You don't have to worry about multiplying by pi, and you don't have to worry about converting the diameters into radii. You just compare the square of the ratio of the diameters. So let's apply this formula in a practical setting. So let's say you have an 18 inch pizza and you have two 12 inch pizzas. Which one is larger? Now most people will opt for the two 12 inch pizzas, but let's do the math. Let's compare an 18 inch pizza to a 12 inch pizza. All we need to do is take the square of the ratio of the diameters. So we take the square of 18 divided by 12. 18 divided by 12 is equal to 1.5. Then the square of 1.5 is equal to 2.25. This means the 18 inch pizza has 2.25 times the area of a 12 inch pizza. In other words, an 18 inch pizza is larger than two 12 inch pizzas. Now you could also go through the entire calculation and see this directly, but in this case, you have to worry about converting the diameter into the radius and you have to multiply by pi and you end up with an approximate answer. But you can see that an 18 inch pizza is larger than two 12 inch pizzas. Here's a similar counterintuitive fact. Let's say you have a 14 inch pizza or two 10 inch pizzas. Many people would think the two 10 inch pizzas are much larger, but let's do the math. If we compare the square of the ratio of the diameters, we get the square of 14 over 10 is equal to 1.96. In other words, the 14 inch pizza has 1.96 times the area of a 10 inch pizza. They are almost approximately equal to each other. Now, of course, we can go ahead and do the calculation and you can see the areas are very, very close. So while the teacher was clearly wrong to mark the student's answer incorrect, it at least gave us a chance to go through the mathematics of pizza. And these are some of the most important calculations I do on a daily basis. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.